Hey, David Wakefield here, and uh, today I'm taking advice from a lake. Okay, all right, so uh, credit advice is what I'm going to give you in this case. So we're talking about credit myths and credit facts, okay? A myth is each time you uh, pull the credit report, is it's going to reduce your credit score. That's not always the case. There are soft pulls. There are hard pulls. Now, most mortgage lenders are going to be pulling a hard pull because they want to make sure everything is fully, uh, fully legit, I suppose, and fully solid on that. Uh, so, but if you have a credit report pulled, uh, and then you go and say, well, hey, I'm going to go uh, check with somebody else. And if they pull the credit report again as well, that's going to count as one pull. You got a window of time. Uh, there's some, uh, there's some, um, uh, arguments maybe on how long that is going to last. I typically tell people about two weeks is about what you have on that. Uh, I've heard people say 30 days, two weeks is kind of a safe number in my mind. Uh, and then uh, and then if it's repolled, as long as no new information has been updated, the lender should get the same score. So that's myth number one. Uh, myth number two, uh, paying off a lien is going to is gonna help you. Well, not necessarily. If you pay off your liens and collections, uh, the uh, it's not going to remove it from the credit report, okay? It's still going to be there, and it's going to be there for, guess what, typically seven to 10 years. It's not going anywhere if you pay off judgments, liens, or collections. Uh, however, if they're not reported as derogatory, that is an advantage to you, but it's not magically going to make it go away. Now, if you're able to negotiate with them and somehow get them to, uh, to remove it from the credit report, beautiful. That's not usually what's going to happen. So uh, closing all your accounts, that's another myth, right? You know, hey, I'm going to close all my accounts. That's going to help boost my credit score dead wrong on that. Uh, you you need to show open active credit. We need to see that you're responsible in paying your debt and things like that. So don't close out those accounts. Again, if you have collections and some negative credit, certainly if you're able to write a check, pay those off and just get those out of the picture, that's great. In a lot of cases, we don't need the collections paid off. That's all very case by case. So we'd have to look at that to see. So, uh, so don't close out the accounts that a lot of times uh, will do more harm than good. So you want to have that open active credit. Okay. Uh, paying off your accounts. Now we're talking some facts. Paying off your accounts uh, will, as a fact, help to, or paying down your accounts will help to, uh, you know, reduce the balance, uh, reduce the credit utilization numbers, and boost the score. Uh, in most cases, you don't want to pay them off in full. You generally want to leave a little bit on there uh, just so we can see that you are actively, openly using credit and you're a responsible individual. Uh, another fact, you should check your credit report regularly. So there's a lot of information out there. There's tons of free services. Um, you'll see, however, some of these services that you go to will not always give you um, uh, accurate credit scores, right? Uh, the Vantage scoring model is one that a lot of people use, and, and I hear it all the time. Hey, my credit score's 900. Okay, well, no, it's not because the highest score is like 850, right? Uh, so uh, a lot of times people are, are uh, disillusioned, right? They're, they're very confused because they're getting information that is not valid when it comes to mortgage lending. Uh, and they come in with their chef, uh, chest puffed out and they say, hey, I'm a 760 score and then I might pull it. Maybe they're a 620 score. Not usually that big of a gap, but I mean, there are some discrepancies. So make sure you're looking at the right information don't use the Vantage score. Uh, we can discuss more about that later if you have questions. Um, the three major credit repositories, right? There are three of them, Equifax, TransUnion, and Experian. Everybody doesn't report to all three. So you're going to get uh, different information and different scores you know, from each of these uh, credit repositories. That's why we have the three scores. We're going to evaluate each of those to make sure you're going to meet the minimum credit standards. So it's not always the exact same information out there that you're going to see. They're usually going to be pretty close, but sometimes we get some pretty good discrepancies there. Um, another fact, uh, freezing your credit report uh, is something you can do. Well, that's not a bad idea. Freeze a credit report if you want to. Don't let anybody get in there and, and uh, you know, um, uh, you know uh, create any activity fraudulently. Uh, but when you go to get a loan, make sure you unfreeze that. It's free, okay? Uh, so unfreeze it before you apply for a mortgage because guess what? If I pull the credit report, then I, you know, look at it and maybe you've got, you know, one frozen or two frozen or maybe all three frozen. Uh, we, we need to get better information. They're going to want that, you know, thought out basically. So unfreeze it. Okay. So for the credit report, okay, here's a free service, annualcreditreport.com. So that'd be a great place for you to go, annualcreditreport.com to pull your credit report to see everything that's on there. It's free. It's not one of these catchy, catchy jingle services that are trying to sell you some kind of credit monitoring, you know, so it's a, it's a good way for you to check that one time a year, free credit report, annual credit report. Another little tip, and maybe I'll go into this deeper next time, uh, opt out pre-screen. It'd be a good idea before you even apply for anything to go to opt 
O P T, and I'll put it in the in the comments below. Uh, OptOutPreScreen.com. Go there, fill your information in. That's gonna uh, that's gonna shut down a ton of those marketing calls. Uh, as soon as you pull a mortgage credit report, guess what? It, it's like the uh, the hounds are out. Equifax, I think, is who it is. Sells your information, not me, but Equifax, I believe, sells the information uh, to all these people. It's called a trigger lead. Again, we should you know go into that uh, maybe a deep dive later as well. But a trigger lead, and you'll get flooded with phone calls with people calling saying, "Hey, I heard you're buying a house," and so on and so forth. You need a mortgage. Uh, so if you want to shut down on all that noise, I know we all get enough. Uh, junk phone calls, so optoutprescreen.com, good thing to do to shut that down. So, hey, I know this is a little long-winded, but uh, I know there's a lot of confusion on what's real and what's not real when it comes to buying a house and credit. So if you have any questions mortgage-related, if you have any family, friends, coworkers, anyone you know that needs to buy, sell, or refinance, I'd love the opportunity to speak with them. All right, thank you so much. All right, there'll be more coming up. Bye.